Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you guys are doing really wonderful and so we will be taking a look at what is happening across the North Atlantic and so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. Alright, so we're going to be starting out with the coast of Africa and heading westward. So here we're seeing all this activity likely in association with that next tropical wave uh, that should be marked soon on the surface charts. So lots of showers and thunderstorms out there. However, as we look at the Saharan area map, here we can see that there's a lot of dry air ahead of it. So let's see how it holds out, but this is not marked as a disturbance. But what we will continue to see, especially going forward into August and September, is a lot more activity. Activity, uh, coming off Africa these strong tropical waves coming through and eventually once things get a bit, uh, get a bit more conducive we will see them developing so that is something that we typically see heading to the peak of the hurricane season and so uh, let's see what's going to be happening with this emerging tropical wave uh, but as of right now models are not expecting anything new or anything significant uh, from the main development region within the next couple of days aside from 96L of course and so uh, speaking of let's continue toward the west here we see this large area of disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity and uh, that is in association with 96L so it is going to be uh, making its way toward the northwest not being a problem for the Caribbean not bringing any direct impacts uh, but it is likely to intensify into the next tropical cyclone of the season as we head into the early part of the new week the latest from the NHC depicts a high chance of development now at 70 percent so we see that this is going to remain well east of the Lesser Antilles, well east of Bermuda. At least that is what is expected as of right now. But we want to keep watching it to see what is going to be uh, the eventual outcome of the system. Now we want to head uh, into the vicinity of the Southern Caribbean, going to Northern South America. There is some activity across some spots in Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana, but nothing too crazy uh, going on for the most part. ABC Islands pretty dry and, uh, as usual, and as we look into parts of the Windward Islands that we can see, there was all of that shower and thunderstorm activity. Likely brought some rainfall uh, last night, so let me know what happened for you. So let's head further up into the Caribbean. There we can see that little blob of showers and thunderstorms. So a lot more moisture is across the Caribbean now favoring the development of more of these uh, types of activity. And then as we look up to the north, things get a bit more quiet, nothing much going on. But there is some thunderstorm activity between Jamaica and Haiti right there. And we see that most of the action is over in parts of Central America, Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua. Things are clearing up for Honduras and Nicaragua as that low pressure area is now making its way into the eastern Pacific. But uh, there is still a, a lot of lingering moisture in association with the system. And so as as a result, there is going to be that chance of a lot of heavy rainfall, even some flooding taking place across some areas. So as we look over into the eastern Pacific, here we're seeing that the system is given a a uh, high 80% chance of development through the next seven days. So it is likely to become the next tropical cyclone. And once it acquires tropical storm status, it will acquire the name Dora. So that is the next name to be used for the Eastern Pacific uh, Basin. Over in the Atlantic, it's Emily. So 96L likely to become Emily. All right, and so as we move on now to the rainfall map, here we can see what is expected, and GFS is expecting that there will be some substantial rainfall across parts of the Southeast Caribbean, going from around St. Vincent to the Grenadines, Grenada, parts of Trinidad, Tobago, uh, and also for Northern South America, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname. Uh, and in the vicinity of the ABC Islands, there might be a passing shower or so, especially for Curacao and Bonaire, but let's see what eventually happens in the area. Area. Uh, heading further up north into the rest of the Lesser Antilles, going from Guadeloupe northward to Anguilla, where not seen where much is expected. Isolated thunderstorms likely across most of the Greater Antilles, going to the Cayman Islands and even parts of the Bahamas. Uh, maybe some more rainfall activity up in Florida. But again, the bulk of that activity over in Central America, where a lot of heavy rainfall is uh, likely. Even seen some of those purple shades, so some flooding rains likely as we're going to be heading through today. And the next thing is that there has been some persistent rainfall across some spots so even though there might not normally be flooding because that soil is so saturated and then there is to be that additional rainfall there is likely going to be flooding but as i said before guys please take necessary precautions and stay safe uh, if you're being affected by this
euro is in agreement with this uh showing those darker shades of reds going to those purples for parts of guatemala and southern belize quite concerning it's heading to northern south america again substantial rainfall likely euro also in agreement with that rainfall activity across parts of the southeastern caribbean from around saint lucia going southward to uh, grenada also for some spots in tobago and barbados so let us see what eventually happens today guys but uh overall for most caribbean islands nothing crazy is expected and as we look at the sea surface temperature map across the north atlantic here we can see that it's very warm out there especially in the gulf the vicinity of the bahamas and the northern caribbean very warm waters and so as we're going to be approaching the heart of the hurricane season once the wind shear is not too strong once there is a lot of moisture and we have a disturbance making its way into the area that is going to be a cause for concern keeping that there isn't much land interaction because these sea surface temperatures can result in some very rapid intensification even uh, a significant jump in intensity in under 24 hours and so guys uh things are shaping up for this hurricane season to be quite an interesting one and it seems as though it's going to be very active uh and as we're going to be heading into the next couple of weeks as i said more of those trouble waves moving off those stronger tropical waves moving off the coast of africa they're going to be paving the way for each other by increasing all that moisture around and then eventually we will start to see more development coming from the main development region but i will keep you guys posted so that you're never caught off guard and that is pretty much it for this update that is what i wanted to share with you and i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond as best and as soon as i can and as always remember to be weather wise